वेलकम लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुबोध प्रसाद वर्किंग इन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एट गोविंद बल्लभ पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड टुडे आई एम हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू टेल यू अबाउट जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड इवेंट हैंडलिंग इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट राइट सो वेलकम अबाउट स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर दी लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स The first one is to understand the basics of JavaScript. The second one is to appreciate the client-side behavior of JavaScript, and the third one is to explore event handling in JavaScript. So let's get started with the introduction. So JavaScript is a high-level dynamic programming language that is widely used to create interactive web pages and dynamic web applications. It is a client-side scripting language. which means that it is executed on the user's browser rather than on the server so javascript is used in combination with html and css to add interactivity and functionality to web pages right like these are certain features of javascript the first one we can see is dynamic typing so javascript variables are not bound to a particular data type which means this makes the language more flexible and dynamic the functions are as first class citizens so they are given highest priorities in javascript functions are treated as first class citizens which means that they can be assigned to variables and they can be passed as arguments to other functions and returned as values from other functions so these are given the highest priorities under javascript the third one is the object oriented nature javascript has object oriented features which are like object creation inheritance encapsulation nine then we can see that there is a prototypal inheritance javascript uses prototypal inheritance to allow objects to inherit properties and methods from other previously defined objects also it is an asynchronous programming so javascript allows developers to write asynchronous code which means that code can be executed out of the order it is not necessary that the code order like in c in c procedural language in javascript it is different it is asynchronous so this allows for more responsive and efficient applications again we can see javascript has wide range of use cases from creating simple form validation scripts to building of complex web applications popular javascript frameworks and libraries include react angular vue js which provide developers with powerful tools to build scalable and efficient web applications you must have seen nowadays a lot of applications like this amazon application this flipkart application and other applications you must have seen nowadays these are known as apps these work in both android based mobile phones also and the iphone based mobiles also now you must be wondering what happens when someone puts a new product online it is immediately sent to all the nodes it is immediately propagated to all the clients right how is this possible this is all possible with the power of react this is powered again from the back side by the javascript only it is again a hot refresh system in javascript also it is a hot refresh system means whenever you are changing something you do not have to put a refresh hot refresh allows you all the clients at simultaneously a refresh will be done on their node so this will be very beneficial when especially when we are talking about e-commerce this has got a very efficient role now next we can see that it is of the event driven nature javascript is commonly used for creating interactive user interfaces that respond to user in actions which are like mouse clicks keyboard clicks or any other kind of input then we can see that javascript is typically run in the browser but it can also be run on the server side using platforms such as node js it can be used to manipulate the html and css to create dynamic web pages as well as to communicate with servers to retrieve and send data 
but what we are trying to achieve in this particular point we are trying to say that dynamically we can integrate this javascript with html and with css at the same time so that we can communicate with different servers to retrieve and to send data moving forward what we see is the introduction to javascript and event handling so what is javascript javascript is a programming language that is used primarily for client side web development it allows developers to add interactivity and dynamic functionality to their websites what happens when you open the same website from your mobile phone you will see that the options available on on the website will get shrinked they will get shrinked and they will be in the form up to down so the website adapts itself if you are opening the same website on the ipad or on the other tablet which is android powered or you are opening that website in a big screen on a tv on a laptop in whatever device you are in open the same website the website will adjust itself accordingly and you will see in chrome also you get an special option to open the website in a desktop mode otherwise that website will be opening on a mode which is flexible and adjustable according to your device right so this is the excellent feature of javascript and this is achievable because it is again a client side web development environment so what are event handlers event handlers are functions that are executed in response to a specific event such as a mouse click or a key press they are used to add interactivity of web pages and make them more user friendly you might have observed whenever you are using mouse on any website you take your mouse to a particular position then what happens then you see the hover effect immediately the light changes or the icon changes it changes to something different whenever you take your mouse to some special image it glows or it unglows whatever it is so all this is coding which is done with the help of javascript so why do we need event handlers in javascript event handlers are an essential part of javascript because they are the ones who allow web developers to create dynamic interactive web pages that responds to users actions right like mouse like keyboard or any other input device so let us see what are the javascript basics the syntax and structure of javascript javascript code is typically embedded within html pages using the script tags it can also be stored in separate dot js files and link to the html pages using script src is equal to double quotes right this tag so variables data types and operators in javascript javascript uh, supports a variety of data types including the strings the numbers and the booleans so variables are used to store and manipulate data in javascript and operators are used to perform calculations and comparisons amongst them the functions and conditional statements in javascript functions are reusable blocks of codes that can be called multiple times within a javascript code they are useful for organizing code and making it easier to read and understand so this is essentially very important conditional statements allow developers to control the flow of their code based on any specific conditions so javascript events now what are javascript events like i have told you previously also whenever you are performing any action or occurrence that happen in the browser such as clicking a button or submitting a form javascript can be of very useful it is used to respond to these events and execute codes accordingly right so for example we can see this is small code this is the html code right in this we have a javascript event example this is javascript comment function handle so you you are giving an alert that button is clicked right so in this you can see this script is closing over here and then at the head we have written that title javascript event example the title close then script starts this script marks that we are writing the javascript code from here this is javascript comment function handle Right, so this is double forward slashes. Therefore, this is a comment. 
so this comment will not be executed after this what you see is the curly braces alert button clicked so whenever the button will be clicked this script is closed so and then this, this head is closed and body is closed so this will get executed over here right javascript event example button on click handle click click me button so when this click me button gets clicked this alert button clicked will be popped up right so you can see a body is over there and the corresponding script is written above right moving ahead we can see that there is an example by this pictorial representation so button value is click me on click alert thank you this will be shown so this is the script performs requested action javascript when the user clicks the button object gives a button widget it raises click event and then on click event listener is initiated after this the handles click event and javascript performs the requested action so javascript events common javascript events include click submit key up key down mouse over and load so the examples are here we are writing this code javascript event example this is a comment function handle key press event console.log key pressed is the plus key event dot key so this event dot key is activated when we are doing what we are putting a key button right this event is on key press now you can see the body on key press is equal to handle key press event so this function gets called as initially i have told that it is a providing high precedence to functions so functions are having the most priority after this we can see this is h1 javascript event example h1 p press any key to exit to see the key code logged on the console right so we can see then the example of javascript events so javascript events are actions or occurrences that happen in a web page such as clicking a button submitting a form or deciding the window when an event occurs javascript can respond by executing a block of code such such as updation on the page content of the validation etc so all this i have already explained to you you can easily go through it again and again these are again then the submit events the submit events are is triggered when a user submits a button essentially presses a button so again this is a simple example it can be seen that on submit return validate form input type is text name username then input type is password so the name is password the button type is submit so when the submit button gets pressed this content executes this is on the php code now using this again so javascript or php code this is a mouse over event so this mouse over event gets activated when the mouse is simply over a particular place then like in this you can see image src is equal to image dot png on mouse over show tool tip so whenever you are taking the mouse to a particular place a certain description box opens and it is certain things written over there so the tool tip which is the image description in this particular code it is the image description which will show if you write a certain thing over here suppose you have a image and that is the image of Mr Narendra Modi the prime minister of india so whenever you are taking the mouse on particular image the name bit get displayed that is the image of Mr Narendra Modi the prime minister of india right understood after this this is an again an example of javascript event it is the key down event so in this key down event what we are doing this is on a python code so input type is text and on key down we are searching the event so after key down this event get executed so there are three types of event associated with every key on the keyboard one is the key down the other is key up and the third one is the key hold so particularly this this particular code is for the key down only not the key up so as soon as you are pressing the key this particular event gets activated and javascript returns its results and then we can see another is this load event so our load event is to successfully tell that a particular web page has been fully loaded so body on load is is equal to init and whatever the code is there in the last it is the body close tag so whenever the complete web page gets load this load event gets terminated so this is the main summary what we have done till now
we have understood the basics of javascript how the javascript is working what is the heart of the javascript and with different types of works that can be done using the javascript after that we saw that what is event handling essentially what are the different events that are done by using different input devices and how these kinds of events can be properly handled con properly uh, accessed and these properly dis disposed of so thank you very much for your patience and time we will see in the next lecture about cookies javascript cookies how these cookies are useful and what these cookies can do and how you should be very carefully using these cookies thank you very much